And yeah, that looks okay for now. Now we can just select our rectangle tool again and make a bar the same size as this and the same size as this. And down the side we can just select our text and just call it tutorial. Change the font style and we'll have it text web. And I'm gonna have it a red just so you can see it. Enlarge it to 150 and go up to modify, transform and rotate 90 degrees CCW which is counterclockwise. And you need it very close to the rim of here because if I just show you on mine, my one's are very um, especially on my logo, if you have it too far away then it will you won't be able to see it. And by the way, you will may not be able to see this if your screen resolution is under 1280 by 720. I'm running a 19 inch monitor which is a 1440 by 900 screen resolution. Um, so the 2% out there with 800 by 600 pixel screen resolution, you won't be able to see all of this, you will only be able to see these bits here. And if you are using a um, 10, 20, 24 main by maybe 720, you will not be able to see all of these bars either. So we'll just go back to fireworks. And now if we just go to our um, fireworks folder and wherever we saved our logo we can just drag this now and drop it into here as you can see that is far too big so we'll just press Q on our keyboard wrong thing select select it and press Q on our keyboard and just scale it down you need it quite small if you want it all to fit on and now we can just go up to file save as I always recommend saving a PNG file as well tutorial and if you need to you may need to save it as a GIF as GIF always makes it smaller but we're just going to try out the JPEG file format for now and if that's too big we'll just have a look some YouTube images. Yes, that's far too big. Um, so we can just delete this and save this as a GIF then. And this, sorry if this is a two part tutorial. So now let's just have a look. And yeah, oh, 1.3 megabytes. Um, some of these styles may take up a lot of rooms, I'm just going to delete this big background here. File, save as, and save it as the GIF tutorial. Let's see, that's still too big, so I'm just going to have to delete, we'll just change the style and everything of this. So file, save as. We'll just save it as the GIF. Sorry about this. Um, I never knew it'd be this big. Okay, so this is only 23.4 gigabytes now. So now, if we go to YouTube, go to Themes and Colors. Sometimes it does play up. And here, where it says Show Advanced Options, just select that, and you can delete the background image if you already have one. And go to Choose File. And we can just select our background image. I'm not going to save this as I don't want this as my background image. 
but after you can save it and you can also change the general colors of it such as the text, the banner color up here, the background, transparency, other things like that, the text along here, as you can see mine is white. And sometimes like I said this does play up. So if it's if, as you can see it has playing up on mine. So I'm just gonna pause it and come back. Okay, so here it is. As you can see this logo fits on perfectly. So if we just scroll down you can see the text and my black background. You can change this by just going over to the um, background colour. And if I change it to a pink maybe. I'm going to set my mouse is just a bit funny as it's a wireless optical mouse. And if I just scroll down I can see it's changed to pink. And while I'm doing this video I just want to tell you about a very good friend of mine um, well, on YouTube anyway and he's a very good tutorial maker his name is Fugledo2 he was one of my he was my second ever subscriber and my first ever added as a friend and I made my first ever sorry about that I made my first ever background image for this guy so he is very cool check him out subscribe and that's it so I'll see you next time goodbye